Urbis, the 32 passenger workhorse of our product line. His craft has been proven under extreme operational conditions, including service on the Chinese Russian border. A minimal crew can maintain this vessel under the most rudimentary maintenance facilities in a wide range of temperatures and weather conditions. Urbis offers fast and comfortable transportation between terminal centers and intermediate points with a minimal need for expensive infrastructure. This craft is fitted with two controllable and fully reversible propellers, giving the commander precise control of a craft almost 60 feet or 16 meters in length. Urbis here executes a slow speed tight turn. The strength of the crosswind is very evident during this turn, but there is no downwind drift. As the craft comes out of the turn, the strength of the wind can be judged from the spray pattern. Because of the wind speed, the commander allows for the drift of the craft. His selected line of approach is reached, and the craft then tracks directly towards the desired location. This high degree of control is achieved by the effectiveness of the rudders and the ability to use differential propeller speeds with individual pitch controls. The approach shows no signs of induced drift. Here, Urbis is moving more or less into the wind. By leading with the port or left RPM control, Urbis is controlled around the turn into the approach to the dock. Imagine a boat trying to come alongside a dock under similar conditions. Urbis is making 20 knots or so at this point. Now the power comes off and the craft slows down for the final approach to the dock. In a similar manner to the Gephard, Urbis has secure footing on the side deck. And because of the longitudinal stringers, tying the craft up is a simple matter. Cleats fore and aft provide secure points for mooring lines and springs. The degree of control in both direction and speed is very evident in the way the Urbis makes the approach and then comes alongside the dock with no sideways drift. It then moves forward slowly to the mooring point. Finally, the craft is brought to a stop. Urbis draws away from the dock slowly And with all hatches secure, we're off. From this view, the long, slim, pleasing lines of Urbis are most apparent. This is a good point at which to explain the spray patterns in relation to the forward speed of the craft. Urbis has left the dock slowly and on low cushion pressure. Power is slowly applied, cushion pressure increases, and forward speed slowly builds up. This is similar to the noise abatement type of departure for built-up area operations. The spray can be seen to come from quite far forward along the bottom of the skirt. As cushion pressure builds with slow forward speed, spray can be seen from all around the skirt periphery. As the speed of the craft increases, the spray pattern moves aft until the craft rides ahead of the spray. With the radar image of the American shore of Lake Ontario showing, we are off for a beach demonstration 35 miles away. The weather report for the area shows winds at 30 knots with 4 to 6.
Urbis will show the same maneuver, although possibly with more smoothness than Gepard. When Urbis comes up onto its cushion again and turns away to the right, it can be seen that there are no marks on the sand, even though it does weigh over seven metric tons. In fact, a child with a bucket and spade building sandcastles will actually do more damage to the environment than Urbis. Well, it's home we go, and from all of us at Canadian Air Cushion Vehicles, we bid you happy hovering.